So hello and welcome by Asia Our channel. My name is Ilkan Wiersma. And today, uh, as you can see, I have a quite a different setup as usual because this video is also going to be quite different than uh, you, we are used to or you are used to. Um, that's because I'm going to talk about my daily job. Um, because we have a, a bird shelter in our family, of a, run, a, a bird shelter, for over 40 years now. So uh, that's quite a long time and my uh, grandparents started out with, uh, with the shelter, they, they started the shelter. And then my uh, parents took over and now me and my husband uh, take over. Uh, we are the third generation. And, but when my parents are still involved, luckily. Uh, because it's uh, very very nice to work with them and we have quite a lot to learn from them uh, still so uh, therefore I'm very happy uh, they are still involved as well and also the whole family brothers and sisters of my mother etc but basically we are the four that run uh, the shelter with our uh, volunteers and we are quite happy uh, that those uh, volunteers uh, want to help us of course and um, but yeah that's uh, basically uh, what I'm going to show you today and it's also for me it's a, a volunteer job i hope i pronounce it uh, well uh, uh, correctly i should say um, my um, husband is uh, has his work and he is uh, get uh, get paid for his work so we live by uh, by, by his income and also um, when I sell art so that's also a, a part of our income but i'm not selling art um uh, and very often but um, I try to sell art and, and uh, yeah to, to get a little bit more income because uh, like I said it's, it's uh, here in the shelter it's a uh, volunteering work because there is no money to get get paid and we don't need much but a little bit extra would be, uh, be handy but yeah therefore my husband is uh, working in a secondhand job uh, shop sorry secondhand shop and also that one is involved with the bird center here. I will not uh, uh, talk about that too much because otherwise it's a, get a very long story. But with that secondhand shop we are trying to um, get some money in for the bird shelter. And obviously uh, we do need some money so therefore he uh, has a job there and that, that, that's working. And uh, also it helps to, uh, to get some income for the bird shelter itself. Because we have to do all the... Uh, the money and the, the, to get the money get in uh, ourselves. We we will we are not supported by uh, by the government uh, government or anything uh, like that. We also uh, we have people who are are helping us out with uh, with the financials as well. But like I said, we have to do it uh, most of the part ourselves. And um, yeah, that's basically it. So uh, I thought it would be nice to show you uh, guys a little bit more about that. Especially because uh, when you subscribe to my channel you may expect uh, obviously some tutorials. And I will say, say make them but um, like this season and especially um, in the uh, spring and summer. there uh, And this year we had uh, even more than usual uh, young birds. And young birds need to be fed quite often. And especially when they are very teeny tiny. Um, they need to be fed sometimes every 30 minutes, some, sometimes every hour or every two hours. So, uh, so you may imagine, uh, or you can imagine that it's quite a, a busy job and it's quite a handful to get them uh, all fed. But it's very rewarding, don't get me wrong, I really really like doing it. But um, yeah, it also takes up my art time in the evening uh, for some parts of the year. And uh, like I said, I thought it would be nice to uh, show you a little bit more of my, uh, my daily job so you can understand a little bit better my time management between the art uh, and my uh, bird shelter hours. So uh, that's what I'm going to show you today. If you're not interested in it, it's perfectly fine. But I thought it would be nice to show you guys who are really one of... Uh, uh, thought it would be nice to show a little bit more of uh, my daily job. But um, like I said, if you don't like it, if you're here... A pure for the artworks and uh, this is not your tutorial uh, not your video I will make another one I'm uh, working uh, on another piece it's a very personal piece but it will be uh, here pretty soon on this channel so for now let's uh, have a look at the bird shelter so first we start out uh, outside and here we have uh, some gooses and some ducks and these uh, are all not living in, in the wild here, so they have to be uh, kept in, in a cage. And um, also there are ones uh, who are uh, unable to fly anymore. And uh, some of them only have one leg, so they have a, a very difficult time to, to walk. 
and uh, so therefore uh, they uh, will stay here and we uh, try uh, of we take as good care as we can uh, of them and uh, they now are enjoying the uh, the evening sun and like i said because of the wind i uh, had to take out the um, the original uh, part where i uh, was uh, talking about these gooses but uh, yeah this is better i think and here we have two shit on ponies there will be a few more this is just uh, a hobby that i have besides my art and my argots i also have uh, uh, some shetland ponies and horses and here we have chickens and peacocks we have two female peacocks and one white one, the white one is so let's have a look inside so and these are my grandparents they started uh, the bird shelter and then my parents took over and now me and my husband are taking it over and we still uh, work with my parents of course, we do it now all together, uh, running the uh, bird shelter and um, that's uh, very handy because they have a lot of experience of course and even though I'm uh, basically uh, uh, grown up with 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 the birds. I uh, also still have some questions, of course, and need to know some uh, things. But yeah, like I said, uh, my uh, grandfather and mother started this uh, bird shelter, and we have some. So, and this is the uh, first place where we keep uh, the the sick birds. This is a sort of uh, yeah, I don't know how to call it in English, but I think a big closet with uh, smaller cages in inside of them. And this is very handy uh, for us, <laughs> for us to uh, keep the birds in when they uh, are just brought in, because it's uh, very important to observe them the first few days and also give them uh, medi medical attention when needed. On oh, the lights is not very very good, but Do you hear that? He has very big troubles uh, breathing. And the other noise you hear is this uh, parrot. He's talking to me, and he is. <laughs> so if you had, hear those kind of noises, you now know uh, who uh, make that uh, make that noise. But yeah, but the sick birds. He uh, <laughs> this one is uh, has something with his lungs, and we are treating them, and we hope the treatment will uh, will work, of course. It's been here for uh, about two days now, so it's a little too soon to uh, to say if it's work. But uh, yeah, like I said, I hope it will work. And here we have a little owl, and I hope you can see him because the lightning, the light in here is a little bit um, uh, not not easy to film the light here. But the the darkest uh, of the eye with the most shadow on it right now is. Um, yeah, kind of damaged, and it looks like he's blind on that eye, but it may be the cause that he hadn't enough uh, good food, so he has uh, needs more vitamins, and we hope that's the problem because then the eye can go back to uh, to normal and go uh, get better. But if it doesn't, we have a problem because he will have a very difficult time to uh, to catch his meals in the wild. He really needs both eyes to uh, to hunt. Side of the oh sorry, on the other side of the room, we uh, have these uh, closets and also this working table. Here we uh, can give them, uh, like I said earlier, on medical attention, and uh, when they broke a wing, we can help to uh, set it back in a good position so it can grow uh, back to normal again. In this uh, cabinet, you see here we keep the medicine and it's locked obviously it, it needs to be locked but we are um, we may give some medical uh, medicals uh, on our own but sometimes we need to go to a vet that doesn't happen quite often but yeah it, it can happen but most of the things medical attention we can uh, give uh, by ourselves English, but uh, here we do keep the uh, the bigger birds and let's see these are cleaned up these are dark and it's a, a she. she. She's brought in because she can uh, cannot move anymore. She also has a hard time breathing. I don't know if you can see it, but she's uh, moving her beak while she's breathing. That's not a good sign. 
So we are also all treating her. And we think it's because uh, we had quite some warm days that the weather, uh, the water where she was swimming in was um, full of uh, bad bacteria. And she did get too many of that uh, bac bad bacteria um, swallowed in. So therefore we uh, treat her uh, for that. And she needs a little uh, more time to uh, recover. But she, it looks like she is getting uh, a bit better. She was lying on her side all the time. That seems to be over. So that's uh, the first step forward, I think. The big case in the, in, the, in the back. We use for the young birds when they are old enough to, uh, to learn to fly and find their own uh, food. And when they do that, they go uh, to a cage outside most of the times. And if that all goes right, they can, uh, can be released in, uh, into the wild again. This is a wall of pictures, as you can see, and we use this because we, uh, in this time of year, we have uh, quite a lot of uh, tourists who are visiting our hospital, bird hospital, uh, bird um, shelter, I should say, and we use it because uh, here we have the uh, the correct names in uh, in Dutch and German, uh, sorry, Great Britain, German, and uh, France, because the, most of our tourists are coming from those. Uh, uh, for countries, so we can. Uh, it's uh, very easy to uh, point out the right bird, and they know then uh, which uh, name the bird has. For example, this uh, this goose here. We now know that it uh, it is one of these. <laughs> I cannot pronounce them, but uh, yeah, it's very very handy when they uh, visit our uh, bird um, hospital or if they are having uh, bringing in a bird and they don't know how to call it. We can go over to this wall and show them all the pictures with the names underneath them. And then we go outside and again and they have to be quite quiet. Oh look, here he is. There he is. And if I'm talking too loud, they are well going away. Here's another one. You see that ear? He's brought in as a young one. But he did get um, cut by a uh, a knife. Yeah, so he's handicapped, but his ear will not not recover um, again completely. But he is able to uh, to live with it. It just looks a little bit funny. He and his now his uh, other uh, brother uh, were brought in as uh, young deers, and. We raise them, and they, uh, within uh, a few weeks, they can be uh, put in uh, back in nature again. I try to catch them one more time. I hope they will show themselves to us. Yes. And now we're going to have a look at the uh, young little birds who were brought in uh, during this year.
And so because we live near the sea, we uh, it's basically always windy here. So therefore I had to put in some uh, voiceovers. I tried to uh, do it, uh, talk about uh, stuff while I was filming, but I uh, put it in my uh, editing software and you can barely hear me talk. So therefore I uh, thought I would uh, take it uh, out of uh, the, the original uh, film and just talk, talk uh, yeah, make a voiceover. But here are the other Shetlanders. Like I promised in the beginning of this uh, video, we have quite, uh, quite a lot of them. And it's also, uh, I see it as a, as a hobby, keeping them. I really enjoy um, having them and be uh, around them being in their uh, company, uh, I should say. And I like the, the different colors they uh, they have. And I like to breed sometimes with them. I have a few foals running around. And this year we had three fillies and one colt. And uh, you will see them. There was one lying. Here's one mare with a filly. And this is the uh, colt. And his uh, mother is over there, Nora. And we have now 14 of them. I have a few for sale because I cannot keep them, uh, all of them. But um, yeah, these uh, are my shetlands. This is our stallion, one of our stallions. I did almost forget the other stallion, but I have uh, included uh, the footage of him uh, as well in this, uh, this video. That, so he will be up uh, pretty soon. But yeah, these are uh, our shetlanders and we are really, really enjoying them. Like I said, it is very windy here. Yeah, and how could I forget? Almost forget. We have another beautiful, beautiful stallion. He's not, his name is, is Bren. And look at him, isn't he beautiful? Yes, you are beautiful. No, I'm not taking your with me now. I'm just showing you off on camera. <laughs> I'm sorry for the shaking. And one of the fillies is uh, is his daughter. And so I hope this gave you a quite a uh, realistic idea of uh, the things that I'm doing. Not um, I didn't share everything. I didn't share every room we have in the shelter, but just some basics. Well, for now, thank you for watching. If you have any questions or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And if you like, if you're not already subscribed to my channel, please be welcome here. I would really enjoy to have you uh, here as well. And for now, uh, once again, thank you for watching and I hope to see you at one of my next videos or tutorials. Bye bye!